Uh, moving on to something that's less natural. A Dubai company buys NFT of the internet's famous side-eye meme for 271 thousand dirham. Now, millions and millions of people have seen Chloe's side eye. Uh, this was the little girl who had the absolutely best reaction to her sister crying about going to Disneyland. Uh, the clip has been gift and memes countless of times. So you're probably, if you're watching on Facebook, you can see, guys, if you're watching on Instagram, should we try and recreate the Chloe side eye? Mm, uh, okay. Do I give the side eye or do you give the I think side we can eye? both do it. So it's like that little girl sitting in the car and she's like, Is that good? <laughs> you didn't even. Oh, he did see. Guys, I mean, guys can, no. you, can you show us Chloe's side eye and send us photos? Are you better than us? We'll do it one more time. One, two, three. All right. <laughs> I mean, this is for mostly the gram users who can't really see the meme. Um, yeah. You know, the small girl with the bunny teeth, and she's like. <laughs> um, it went viral years ago. It was basically a YouTube video that her mom posted, the Clem family, about her sister going to Disneyland and her sister was crying and she was like, what's up? I don't get it. Anyway, the clip was taken from YouTube, made into a meme, made into a GIF. We've shared some uh, some of the memes on um, on the Facebook show, if you're watching, and it's basically like, what are you doing February 14th? And it's like, I'm working. Like, what else would I be doing? Like, you know, it, it, there's an, or hearing Christmas songs in September. <laughs> what? Uh. Judging you, the the ju- the judging face of the century. Oh, fact! When you get a work email at 8:30 a.m. <laughs> I think you've got the nail the face, <laughs> nail the expression. Um, yeah, so you've seen it, and now <laughs> Chloe's family. It's years of practice. <laughs> now Chloe's family <laughs> decided to auction the gift. for an NFT for the price of 25 Ethereum, which is a price of crypto, which is a type of cryptocurrency. I mean, I have to deal with Casey's judgmental face like practically every single day at work. And I'm even getting better at them. So now how are you? Oh my God, I can't deal. My side eye. We work right beside each other too. It's like... It is really stressful, like uh, intimidating. I can't. Anyway, NFTs or non-fungible tokens are an add-on to the cryptocurrency legend. Now, NFTs are a unit of data stored on blockchain. They are unique assets and are used to represent digital-only items like photos, videos, audio, and have thrown the digital world into disarray. And it looks Um, it looks like one Dubai company is getting in on the action. 3F Music, a Dubai-based music production company, reportedly purchased the Chloe NFT, and they are the same company who also reportedly purchased the first ever New York Times article sold as an NFT for 3.1 million. So they are getting on that bandwagon. We don't have actually a massive amount of information about them. Uh, we tried to research it, and of course, when we wrote the first article that they bought the 3.1 million and um, New York Times article that was an NFT. Uh, there isn't that much information about them, but yes, it's a Dubai company who are obviously investing big in these NFTs. Wow, who is the owner of this company? It's Dubai. There could be, how many? I read somewhere. How many millionaires do we have in this country? It's like fifty-six <laughs> thousand or something crazy. Thousand? I, I, yeah, fifty-six. I, I need Where to, do you find them? I don't know. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they? Someone invested 3.1 million on an article, like no, on the um, the NFT. So not the article. So like, yeah, the the internet digital asset token of that. But uh, I, 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 like really, I don't understand this world of buying NFTs. But really, like people say, in a long in the long run, where we're going with digitalization, it makes so much sense, and you will see it all paying off. maybe 10 years down the line or 15 years down the line. Well, it's so interesting because we had Christelle Bacara, who's a Dubai artist on the show, and she was saying for artists themselves, these NFTs make so much sense um, because it's another way for them to kind of get their art across the world. And it's actually massively popular. Like she's she she joined the NFT craze like, well at the beginning and she's had huge success with it. So um, interesting. Yeah. Uh, so Oksana, she's a marketing manager for Meda, and She was telling me how art like she, I was not able to really understand NFTs for art. Like it's it's like, what do you do get, getting a digital painting? You know, like it's already there in the Internet. What's the point of it? And she's like, you know, with the Van Gogh uh, exhibit in Dubai Mall, how everything was just projected. Mm. Now, as you move into smart homes and smart everything, people may stop buying physical paint, paintings and just project the original one onto the, into their homes or interesting. Uh, Um, office areas or spaces so it might move into that so later people will it just makes sense getting it for a price a good price now a good deal and later it will just explode and you can sell it or yeah. whatever it is 
you get a good deal now, it will be so interesting if the company, the 3FE company, uh, music company who bought the side eye, Chloe, if they decide to project it somewhere cool in Dubai. So, oh. <laughs> be like on the Burj, imagine her face. <laughs> Stop taking photos of me. <laughs> wow, that is that would be so cool. And imagine. they actually do that. Like Burj Khalifa, they, they would probably project it. Why not? Well, we know the price of things to project on the Burj Khalifa. So, I know. Yeah, but they could have a hookup. That's how things 